Hello and good morning. So I had gotten a request over the weekend from a good friend Leos uh, in order to, well, see about making this matchup happen. So I'd put up a uh, put up one of these previously with the original build of the Men in Black AC. Uh, thing was, it wasn't terribly good at turning. Like it, it had some pretty mediocre turning speed. Um, firepower was constant, but generally kind of lacking. I'd, Basically, the Hollow is a good lightweight rifle, but not terribly good as far as out DPSing anything. And uh, while the Dragon is the Dragon, it's basically a laser pistol with the weight of a rifle. But at any rate, um, I went ahead and swapped out some things. I basically removed its uh, ECM and energy reload upgrades, uh, put in the codon for faster turning, uh, redid the AI a little bit to be less aggressive, so hopefully it should be better at um, kind of defensive flanking, as it were. And then uh, swapped out the arm weapons for the ogre and the um, what the hell's this thing called? I think it's like the wyvern or something. But you know the double laser shield thing, uh, the um, uh, the pistol and the uh, the cricket are still in its pockets. Um, just figured, you know what? They've got a lot of weird energy weapons or whatever else. They do have giant friggin' cannons and whatever else. So I guess he just swapped out for those for this particular fight. Uh, he has one major weakness, which is something that, uh, well, something that the God Slayer actually has as his main weapons. Thing is, if he's hit with, um, he can shrug off a napalm rocket, but if he's hit with a couple napalm rockets and a lot of ballistic stuff at the same time, whoa, that is super loud. Uh, bam, there we go. So if he's hit with all of that stuff at the same time, and it overloads his heating, uh, he's basically done. I mean, obviously that's going to be the same for any energy weapon build, but it's pretty noticeable in his case. Oh, okay, there we go. He's, I think, there we go. He got one. So it looks like this build's going to do it. I wouldn't call it a hard counter by any means, but this feels like it's got everything that it needs to uh, needs to have in order to win. Oh, whoops. Um, didn't mean to do that. I kind of wonder what happens if you try to start that. I assume nothing. But yeah, so... I mean, I, I kind of like the way that this one turned out. It feels appropriate. It feels like they'd have all these crazy lasers and everything else. Just obviously, yeah, they wouldn't exactly be breaking out the crazy cannons for anything other than the sequels. At which point the like the other definition of cannon got a little bit weird, but whatever. It is what it is. At least they made another one. <laughs> like if he if he uh, gets a napalm in there uh, while he's uh, uh, rather the Godslayer gets the uh, napalm in there while he's using the other weapons like this, like the fight's over. There's basically nothing he can do to recover. I uh, set entirely towards. Just being able to shrug off uh, kind of light to medium uh, heat damage, and then just pretty much keep enough energy going, even when uh, when lightly overheating, to um, well keep his guns running. Oh, hang on. Tried to switch over to another uh, another uh, piece there in the background. Yeah, so let's see. One and one. Let's see if this does it. But yeah, so if his heating is overloaded, there's really nothing he can do to recover. A nice thing is, uh, the way that I have him set up now, he does very effectively dodge that first rocket. So, hopefully, hopefully the AI's figured out for that. Ah. Alright. That didn't go well. Best 3 out of 5. <laughs> Like I said, definitely not a hard counter. This is a, I don't know, 50-50 kind of situation. <laughs> um, not 
sure how this area is going to go for him. Thing is, that ogre absolutely uh, rips the God Slayer apart, but, um. Just, uh. Just the chance of getting hit by those napons, it's a problem. He's almost got this, come on. Nice. Alrighty. Time for one last round then. Yeah, hopefully he'll, uh, hopefully he'll be able to get it. Gotta say, this thing's been... For a lightweight, it's been very bizarre how, how effective this thing is, like, in Formula Front. Because FF does not treat lightweights well at all. <laughs> So, like I said, I'm I'm pretty impressed by how this thing is uh, how this thing's functioned. I have a feeling this one's going to the GS though. Uh, this map, and especially the fact that you can get those napalms in so easily, yeah. Now oh, there we go. Well, you know what? He won two rounds. Uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to see out of this, so... It's possible. This thing can uh, can potentially beat this thing, and we'd just be going back and forth forever if, uh, if I kept it going like this. All it takes is one of those rockets. But anyway, uh, let me know if there's something else you'd like to see, and I'll get it made. Have a good one.